So he said, Uj, do you think we might be on the verge of exploring the top five strongest fighters in all universes? Who's, me who's mentioned that when Goku asked about the Grand Priest, who said that he is in the top five but didn't mention where he is ranked? Do you think at some point we will explore that? Uh, I would love to, naturally, because, you know, that begs the question, who, who is, who, who are the top five strongest in Universe that's, 7? But it's, That's it's, really it's... easy, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, it's really easy to say exactly who all five of those members are. So there's, there's no oh, debating, yeah, and, and... there's no arguing, there ain't shit. <laughs> nah, there would be some fucking person that would put some... <laughs> A fucking I don't give obnoxious a fuck. character as in the top five. I literally no. had my universe seven top five as with with current to date, it's obviously gonna be a black freeze at the top. Then I would give it to Goku. Then it's a it's a fight between Broly and Vegeta for three, wow. but they're between three and four. So those are those are your two right there. And then the last one. I don't even want to give it to Gohan. I knew he wasn't gonna do it, <laughs> but 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 due to certain circumstances, I might put him in my th my fifth spot. Oh. But that's my that's my list. That's my personal list. Yo, I don't Kai. know who else could fit in five. I want to I want to hear Kai's. reasonably universe right seven, now. If we're talking, cause yo, cause I literally <laughs> if if we were talking about universe seven and six, I would put fucking Jiren in my fifth spot over Gohan. Uh, he's eleven. Or whatever, yeah, universe. Yeah, he's wait, universe eleven. Jiren is from a universe eleven. I got my shit mixed up. Yeah. All right, fuck it, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> I would put Jiren as five. No, no. U I would no. put Jiren. Uchi, what is least. your list? Oh, you want to hear mine? Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so the so I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. Brandon mixed me by mentioning Frieza. Because Yo, he super mixed me by mentioning Frieza. Yeah, he he makes we me. We have to now. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. But he's right you're, though. He's you, right. You're he's right. right. You got right. it. We just we're, we him and I were not thinking about Frieza yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. And, and what the weird part about that is that I didn't want to count Frieza because he's just he's he's the best. Like, but I, he's number one. But right he now. is number one. So you have to put him on the list. So like, that's, yeah, that's crazy. Like I, if, if the I forgot. Yeah, like if the question was like geared more towards like warriors, as far as like I the guess the Z warriors. Yeah, then yeah, then then that that's kind of like what I was feeling, but nah. See, Brandon took that shit verbatim, and good on you. You get fucking dinks. All right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was not ready. We're talking about overall universe. Seven. We ain't specifying yeah. nothing. Right, right, right. You, you got it. You're right. We just fucked up. 100%. I'm glad I got you that smooth. You deserve it. There you go. Fucking sit that shit. Smoothie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the victory sweep. Yeah. All right. Crazy. Mine, Frieza, has to be. Shit. Has yeah, to, that, has that, that to be. No, problem. He's a default number one. You're right. He's defaulted. You're there's right, no, you're right. literally, there's no argument. Put it this way. And this, and yo, feel free in the comments. Put your top five. Okay. If I don't see Frieza and you're number one, your shit is wrong. You're wild. And like that's what I'm saying. Tested automatic. It's automatic number one. Tested automatically failed. And obviously, this is obviously this goes without saying. This does not count gods and angels. Clearly, bro. I had my set clearly. five, and he said Black Frieza, and that shit said. <laughs> it broke the list. It broke right. the yo, list. Yo, yo, top five. Frieza, Frieza, Frieza. I was so, uh, bro. I was so solid. I, I like you heard me. I was like, this is it. I know exactly who it is. He said Frieza. I was like, Trrr. I was like, well, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Broke my ankles. Yeah. Nah, no honest, court. honestly, here, all right, all right. Like, but this is the thing, though. It really is. And this is, like, I know this is opinionated, <laughs> but it's just, like, the top four are factual. Like, there's yeah. no argument. Mm -mm. Frieza, Goku, just, Vegeta, Broly. Just top five. Yeah, like, that is it. Like, that's the top four. Black Frieza. Top four. That's Black Frieza, Goku, Vegeta, Broly. Okay. Now, as far as number five, you know what's fuck. You know what's crazy? Here's another one that people that not are not gonna want to say. Miris. He counts. But he yo, does. he does. He, he does. Because he's does. not an angel. And honestly, it should be he got fired. It should be Black Frieza, Miris, Goku, Vegeta, Broly. That's yes, the, that, that's the that's think, the order. You think, you think Goku can't take Miris at this point in time? 
No. No. Dude. Because he was an ex angel. Yeah, right. I'm assuming. That's uh, that okay. that is his that is his DNA. Damn, so if Mirrors is two, then you're basically we're basically saying that Black Freeze is stronger than man's. But the oh, way Which is kind of shit. OD. That's right. Which but, is kind of OD. But 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 the way the way they be writing this shit, I would not be surprised if like Mirrors did not have that angelic level of power anymore just because he got fired. So That's I could possible. I could very easily see them saying that like imagine if they went to talk to him or went to train with him or whatever reasoning right maybe right. they needed their own time chamber because Frieza hogging all of them or right. something crazy like that so um I can I can see him being like oh yeah I might be able to step in and help because you know I want to you got me motivated to but I can't re I don't have the power that I did I'm still so strong but I don't have that power now, I can see you, that you low key just made a whole ass debate now low key just because. If you're saying if you're saying he got fired and that he lost power, then that means once you're an angel or like a guy of destruction, you get like a boost of power to like excel what? everybody else almost. I can see why you would think that. Made, it wouldn't make sense for him to lose power just by getting fired from an angel unless like that's a thing. Right. It would You see what I'm saying? It wouldn't, but it also doesn't even make sense for him to be fired in the first place because if all the angels were born angels and they're not mortals, you can't you can't fire an angel from being what they are in their DNA. An angel. You know Man. what I mean? Like so that so that doesn't make sense either. So like that, it, it's like you said, like that debunks that. Like there's too much missing information for us to come up with a solid yeah, theory. Yeah, right there is. Yo, so because if you think if you think about it, right? Because that you're so right. There's so many unwritten rules that we don't even know about as far yeah. as the angels and their come up. Like okay, you're an angel. You get born as an angel. So by default, you're already stronger than like all mortals off rip. And then and another. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. And then and then as you grow up and I guess, you know, hone your shit or whatever. It is like, I guess, from what we can deduce, you are next in line to essentially become an angel over some some God of destruction or some shit. Right. So then in this case, Miris relinquished that. So what Brandon is wondering is kind of valid because if 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 that clause is to take place, then there has to be something written in the storyline for them to literally be like, okay, well, if this ever does happen, it's very rare. But if it ever does, in Miris's case, then yes, because you are now becoming one and among the mortals, even though you're not then you have to be more balanced so therefore you're getting nerfed that that's, would make that sense that would be crazy that, that would, would suck crazy. but 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 that's i mean because because gods of destruction they can get directly involved a little more hands-on more than the angels can exactly. from, what, from what we've seen at least but but in miris's case i would like even even if like let's let's go with the let's go with the assumption that he did get nerfed when he like you know got demoted right to stay alive to keep his fucking life right then that would put him in a top five position like off rip because it's just like they would nerf him but how much did they nerf him did they nerf him on jackal levels of fucking nerfing okay oh my God. or did they nerf him where he would still be able to hang out with goku and Vegeta? you know what i'm saying but like that that's a whole other thing though because like it doesn't even it doesn't even sit right for me for him to for him for them to take his power away like and how would they go about doing that I is know. It, are they gonna put him into a machine or the <sighs> fucking wands about a fucking nah, you already know how they, some... it, all it is is a dink that's it everything's a fucking dink just but like that this. but that like, <laughs> just like that. you gotta but you gotta understand that shit sounds crazy it's dragon because, ball because but the <laughs> it's dragon ball brain <laughs> <The> <laughs> listen, listen. because he couldn't even try to fight that it's because dragon it's ball. true Fuck. Fuck, got me. It's Dragon Ball, bro. It's yeah, but like, if you want to think about it from a logical standpoint, it's like it's Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball. You can't. If, if, <laughs> if that's the case, though, like, oh, oh my god, oh, don't, oh no, just, don't even don't even put too much thought into it. This oh is where, no, this is where my logical side comes. I'm right sorry, up. I know, yeah. and but look, for everything that you're saying, you're not even wrong about all those questions. Valid questions, but I'm saving you. The headache, literally. Want to buy answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, that that that's that's why I but, would consider Miris in the in the top. 
But so so let's continue off that. Let's continue yeah, off that. Yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about the angels. Now gods of destruction. They got rules too. They got rules that we don't even understand. And you know why we don't understand them? Because they <laughs> fucking told us a rule and then they waited a couple months and they said, Oh yeah, remember that rule? Actually, it works <laughs> like this. And then they didn't even give a fuck about that because if you look back at the earlier episodes, it debunks the later theory. So what the <laughs> fuck are they doing? Oh, you have no idea what I'm talking about? Let me enlighten you. They said that Hakai, the move that disintegrates somebody, can only be used on someone weaker than you. That's fine. Cool. Ding. Great. They got it. They got that it. move belongs to Gods of Destruction. That God of Destruction, that is not a person. That is a motherfucking title. Ooh. Somebody has to be granted God of Destruction. Mm. So... Mm. With mm. that being said, only gods of destruction should be able to perform Hakai. And guess what? In the manga, Goku hit that shit on Merge Zamasu. He didn't finish it because he got distracted. However, he hit it and it was working and it was real. Goku was not a god of destruction. Let's fast forward. Fast forward dumb far. Mm. Vegeta mm. wants to do Hakai. Beerus tosses him something, says, by the way, in order to be able to use the powers of destruction, you need to, you, you, you gotta, you gotta accessorize, my a nigga. Symbol. You need a symbol. Yeah. <laughs> a you gotta, symbol. You gotta put the earring on, okay? You gotta put that little bling bling. Hell yeah. Thing, thing. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. But yeah. Where was Goku's? He didn't need that. You know why? Because everything Goku does, Vegeta could do three months later. <laughs> but Vegeta needs extra rules and extra boundaries to get it done. Goku's just like, nah, I'ma hit that. Fuck. Goku's it. Goku's just the talented person, and Vegeta's just the nigga we, that needs to work. Vegeta's on the formal so, shit. So yeah, they just they just be forgetting about shit all the time. And like, look, like we we talked about this very briefly last episode. But Vegeta went out of his way to go train on Yardrat, learn all this crazy spirit control nonsense, and he didn't use none of it. He did not use not a little bit of it. Meanwhile, Goku literally made his fucking spirit grow 10 sizes that day. And he did it more than once. They gave him Vegeta's powers because I feel like they wrote that whole arc, forgot about who they gave it to, and was like, yeah, Goku's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That like, was what? great. Yeah, no, you're 100% right. 100%. So, just I wow. the rants. That was not a rant. That was an informative. I mean, it was a high corner. Rant. <laughs> that yeah. shit, because like shit like that, it gets me tight. I, I don't. There's nothing else to say, and I said it too. Like, we're, you know what? Fuck it. We're talking about future trunks. I didn't like future trunks. I still like. I'm okay with him now, but I still. I don't know. Like, I still. He's not among my favorite characters. I don't hate him by any means, but he's not among my favorite characters, and that's my personal opinion. That's fine. So that's that right mm -hmm. but we're now now we're talking about the who's gonna be top five in universe seven right chunks is not gonna be there we all know that we nah. he's just not gonna be there and, and i'm sorry to say it but he's not and that's that's specifically just because he's not even in this timeline he's not even being counted right now so it's not it's not fair so we'll leave yeah, him out of the conversation that <laughs> is it's just, so yeah no you can't do that no. exactly you can't do that so it's, it's not even fair so we're not gonna bring him up right but I, what i will bring up is that if we're going to talk about Mirrors potentially being in there, if we're going to talk about Black Freezer potentially, because you broke my whole fucking list. Thank you very much. So now we have a problem because we have Black Freezer. We have Mirrors. Granola? Oh, for a limited time, yes. yes. For a limited time only, Granola, before right. that nigga gets mashed, okay? Right. But he's up there. And we gotta remember that he, at the end of the day, he is a good guy, but what pisses me the fuck off is Granola's whole character because I feel like we did not need his arc, we did not need his story, we didn't need any of that. I feel like what they tried to do with Granola was recreate future trunks. And I said that, and I said, you know what? Fuck Granola. They should have just kept future trunks. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> <laughs> you did. They should have just kept him. They should have just worked with him. They should have worked with his Ikati form, everything he had. There were two trunkses. They could have kept one of them in the other timeline and brought this nigga here. He could have trained with his kid self. Like, right. there could have been all types of shit, but no, they didn't. They didn't do none of that. You know, it is. Okay. Well, so wait, wait. Finish your list. You have you have two more. 
Oh god. But yeah, but I, I was just you're gonna I was just throwing that out Moro there. So. In your list? Wait, what? Wait, you're gonna incorporate nah. wait, who are we talking about? Now f top five strongest in universe seven. In universe seven, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, what, would, what's if if we included if we included those three like Black Frieza, Miris, and then Granola, Granola. let's go with Vegeta. Three. It's because it has. This is the. I'm sorry, Broly, but this is the Goku Vegeta show. No offense taken. Listen, it's, that it's the Goku makes Vegeta sense. Show. That's a list that makes sense. This is how you know I'm a real one, guys. Am I bitching and crying that Broly's not on the fucking list? No. Matter and fact, to argue and to argue, well, go ahead. No, go I was want to say right. I wanted to. They, I want to take would, Kai's list. Copy paste. They would literally. They would literally say because if it was top five strongest, and if it was of all the universes, Broly's power level doesn't matter. They can literally sit there and say, you know what, Goku and Vegeta can sit there and say, you know what, honestly, Broly's probably stronger than both of us, but with rules, that nigga's gonna kill someone, so he gotta sit on the bench, dude. Educated as fuck. Nah, but also what I was gonna kind of say to kind of argue the, like whether Broly's kind of stronger than Vegeta or Goku to make it on the top five list. I don't. I wouldn't say that he's stronger than both of them. But what I will say is that in battle, if it's prolonged a certain amount of time, yes, and then Broly will become stronger than either of them just because of how he's built. But if Goku and Vegeta were to take it super serious and aim for and aim to kill essentially and put them down, that's when they're stronger than Broly. Because Broly is, be... Broly operates completely different from both right. of them. He gains he gains strength as the fight continues, as we know in the movie. Oh. So with with knowing that he that that is why he doesn't make the top five list. If that's your list, Kai. And nah, I'll take they, your list they too, could so. they could sit that man down. They could say exactly what I said about him being stronger, but he needs to be benched for all the ruling reasons. And then they could be like, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity for you to watch and learn some shit, dude. And that's why I love y'all because this shit is perfect. The way everything was put, the establishments, the realities, and the dose of Dragon Ball reality because. That, yo, that, I can literally visually see that happening. Like, and that's crazy. Like, I, your list is not my list, number one, okay? Number two, I, I, like, in while you were saying that, I was thinking, like, okay, like, what if we were to try to fit Broly into this? But right. the thing is, it doesn't really work because define strength, right? Strength is not just about, like, oh, yeah, I can push more than you. Brandon it's can bench more than me. He could probably squat more than me, right? But it's about what you can do with that, okay? So How in, you can hold it back if you need to. Yeah, right. And right now, he's a loose cannon. A part of, I, I, I would like to believe what's, what's good with strength is your control over it, okay? Yes. And if you don't have that control, then you're, it's like what good really is it now obviously in the in the in the tense of like just raw like okay if they were to go at it with like no restrictions then yeah i think the outcomes would probably be a little bit different however now that they've already fought this man they know and should know better that second go round all right and if they're on a planet or if they're if they're in a void space where they can't destroy anything around them, Broly needs to be put out ASAP. ASAP, that's what I was saying yeah, before. Yeah, because if he, but because if they let that, if they let him monkey see monkey do, they're the ones that's gonna put in their own lives at risk. So like, Goku would have to tap into UI off rip. Automatic. Vegeta <laughs> would have to go ego, ego off rip. Automatic. Okay? And if they really didn't want to fucking play around, they would just fuse off rip and not take any chances. Not but even. But if we're gonna talk about one v ones, no, no, I know, I know. But I'm just saying for the sake of argument, like right, 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 I'm right. just trying to uh, paint a picture for people because they need to understand. Like Broly <clears throat> is crazy. He he was written in such a way where it's like give him time, give him time in a fight. Yeah, you knock him down. Yeah, you hit him back. But then it's almost as if like he is the better version of what Ultra Ego is. Like mm. I would like to see 
just just to see it and and i'm sure it would be even right can you but, imagine ultra ego broly no 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 listen i want to see black frieza hit broly the same way he hit goku and vegeta i want to see if broly gets up because if he gets up i would i would put i would take them both off <laughs> and i would put all right broly's on there but that's but that's something we talked about too is like you could you could put broly in there if Frieza is written the way we need him to be. Yeah. Because Frieza can control Broly. Oh Son. my god. Son. Yo, Broly. That would be filthy. That would be filthy. That would be filthy as shit. I mean, like, if yo. That would be do that would be dope. I hope, aside from the this top five conversation, I do hope that at some point in the story, Broly gets to a point where he can control his power. Like, I really hope so. Like you know he have a, he has a couple leaks here and there whatever that's fine but like i hope that for his sake and the whole story overall this man just becomes like somebody that's useful because like you guys are saying they cannot rely on him in a tournament setting they can't rely on him on in a in a setting where lives are at stake and people need to be protected because just because he's that strong does not mean he can go there on the front lines and actually, you know, do something like, you know, like, like, okay, yeah, he can have great same man duties, right? He can handle that shit, clearly. He can handle, like, like, threats that are not really threats. Like, someone from another planet tries to fucking take over. Broly would, would smash him. One shot, done. Send him off, like Team Rocket, blasting off a, 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 again, right? Just like that. And then, and that's it. <laughs> But then the second he fights somebody that is, you know, like gives him a little bit of, of a problem. But the real problem is what? Himself. That's how it is. Broly is basically like a raging Superman. He can literally probably get to be as strong as he wants to be or can get to realistically because he's a fucking freak. He's a mutant. That's how he was. That's how he was born, written, all that. But if you take him out quick then you're good to go. That's at least what the belief is. So. Even that was vague. Yeah. Even that was vague. Like, hey, Dragon Ball, welcome. How can I help you? So. Great discussion. That was great. Top five. We haven't had a top five in a while, but that's the... Now, that's crazy. Like, my scope of shit just... Brandon just woke Shattered. us up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that good shit.